Welcome to the course that will teach you to predict the future. No, not by using your psychic abilities and crystal ball, but by using one of the world's most popular programming languages, Python, to learn the in-demand skill of predictive analytics so that you can become a data and business analytics professional. You've probably heard of data-driven decision-making. Every business out there wants analysts and programmers that can help them understand trends, evaluate metrics, and help them prepare for the future. And you're going to help them do that. Careers in this field are extremely in demand and growing rapidly. This course takes you deep into the world of analytics. You're going to learn how to use cutting edge tools and concepts, including predictive analytics, econometrics, Google causal impact, Gaussian mixture, random forest, Facebook profit, multilinear regression, and more. Sounds like a bunch of buzzwords, but you will learn what they all mean by the end of this course. You're also going to learn about basic statistics so that even beginners with no math or statistics background can get up to speed. Plus, you're going to be using real world data sets and case studies in this course involving Bitcoin pricing, forecasting at Uber, and even the quality of wine. Let me introduce you to your instructor, Diogo. Diogo works in Berlin as a data science and econometrics professional where he is responsible for the strategy and planning of 4 billion euros in revenue. Ooh. And he teaches you the exact skills and tools he uses in his career to help companies make data-driven decisions. Did you see the movie Moneyball? It tells the story of a major league baseball team that set records with only a fraction of the budget of the big teams. And they did all this by using analytics to find efficiencies. Well, Diogo is kind of like Brad Pitt in that movie. Except Brad Pitt didn't use Python, so Diogo is cooler, obviously. And yes, you'll use Moneyball data in this course too. Now there's a lot to learn here, and you're going to learn it all, hands-on, so that you can actually use your new skills in the real world. Seems like that'd be pretty useful when learning to predict the future with Python, hey? Okay? We'll see you inside.